Apple has released the first iOS 7 beta hours after the official announcement. It's a fully working operating system with all the announced features up and running. Though it has some bugs, graphical glitches, and definitely needs a few performance optimizations to take care of the occasional lag. We're sure Apple will deal with it by this fall when the final iOS 7 version is set to release. iOS 7 does a major overhaul of the user interface. It has a brand new flat look, transparent menus and keyboard, new system icons and apps, new control center, and much more. The lock screen is of course the first thing you'll notice once you turn on your phone. It can be unlocked with a single right swipe from anywhere on the screen. If you swipe from the top, you'll get to the notification center, while a swipe from the bottom brings you to the new control center. There's quick access to the camera as well. The home screen welcomes you with new animations and icons. There's no dedicated spotlight page in iOS 7. Instead, you access it with an upward swipe. The folders on the home screen are now scrollable and can contain virtually unlimited apps. The parallax view can't be turned off and is available on the home screen and in the folders. There are two dynamic wallpapers you can choose from, but we expect we will be able to add more soon enough. The notification area has been divided into three tabs. Today, which shows your daily tasks and reminders. All shows your other notifications and missed shows only missed notifications like calls. The control center is invoked with a swipe from the bottom of the screen. It has five toggles, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb mode, and rotation lock. Then there is the brightness slider, the music controls with volume and duration scrubbers, followed by airdrop quick access and four shortcuts, flashlight, clock, calculator, and camera iOS 7 offers real multitasking with an Android-like user interface. You can swipe up to kill an app. All system apps have refreshed interfaces. Messaging, calendar, reminders, music player, phone app, clock, notes, mail, and others. Some of the system apps also offer some additional functionality. Photos now organizes the images better, the compass has levels, the app store offers location-based suggestions, weather now has animations, and the camera can take square photos and comes with filters with live preview. Safari browser has been updated with 3D tabs animations, full screen view, and a unified search field. The settings menu is the same, it just has a new skin, while, while Siri, in addition to new looks, has extra functionality and voices. The notification and control center, as well as the home screen folders, change their semi-transparent background depending on the app or home screen background. These were most of the major features available with the new iOS 7. There are a lot more that we'll cover in our beta review.